Testing, testing, one, two. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video as we're going to dive into After the Fall and show you a little bit of a preview gameplay and also provide you some tips and tricks using the HP Reverb G2. So let's just go to their website very quickly. Um, I mean, I was actually very excited about this because it's a co-op game where you can go in with your friends so it's a little bit like population one in terms of how you can play with people and then together you can go and blast a whole bunch of zombies within a specific amount of different maps that they have now do make sure that you are unable to bear after you subscribe because of course uh, we will be coming out with a different type of videos through the lens videos comparing it with the pico neo 3 pro which is an android of course powered headset exactly the same specs as the meta quest 2 to be honest with you and you know a whole bunch more and by the way hp are sponsoring a brand new hp reverb d2 that one of you will get to win they will send it to you directly and also cyber shoes will be sending you a brand new pair of cyber shoes we'll also be giving a 50 dollar voucher to any keys on the meta quest or on steam vr or on vive board it'll be up to you and also we'll be doing another set of keys i'll be giving away to a fourth different person so do make sure you're unable to bear after you subscribe because i'll be announcing the competition entry upon the nine thousand subscribers all right without further ado let's dive into vr and watch until the end because at the end of the video i will give you my synopsis and final thoughts as to whether it's actually worth getting this or maybe you should wait until they've worked out all the little kinks here and there all right see you in vr all right, so the first thing we want to do is go to the home and then video settings and just make sure that the settings for after the fall are around the same settings of the actual VR headset so you don't have any issues. And then also I just noticed that my uh, Steam VR home, so if you have issues with your Steam VR home also, um, you could just click here, Steam VR home, and then just bring it down also because you might have some problems when it's loading it might be very you know slow and all these kind of things depending on the machine you have so bring it down to 50 percent if you really have a lot of problems otherwise uh no need to do that so let me just get rid of this and i'm just going to launch the game now i am having some problems recording at the same time as playing it seems that i get a lot of um issues with stutter and things so hopefully now i did deactivate my antivirus so i'm hoping that that was what was causing the issues but when i'm not recording generally speaking i have no issues whatsoever all right so now the game's going to load do make sure you're unable to bail after you subscribe as i will do comparisons with the pico neo 3 pro with the through the lens and also the wireless streaming to the pc i think i think that will be really really interesting when we do those videos as well All right, cool, it's about to start. Now guys, if you hear a sound but you don't see anything in front of you, all you have to do is bring in your Steam panel, which is this one, and then click on Reset Standing Position, and then everything will load in front of you without any issues. Cool. All right, and by the way, I uh, just forgot to mention, you should also go into your Windows Mixed Reality logo here. Go to graphics and make sure that everything is disabled. I've had issues when putting on motion vector, so I prefer to put disabled for this part. So you can grab, you can, if you want to put the gun back, just click on the grab button, which is this one here. And then you can put it back in or, you know, depending if you're right handed, left, left handed. And then choose your graphic quality. So we have low, medium, or high. So for the purpose of this video, just to make sure that everything's okay because I'm recording at the same time, I'm going to use medium. And then you just highlight here. And by the way, you can let go of the grab button and then press with the trigger, which is your index button, this one here. I'm going to use standing because I'm standing at the moment. And then we're going to use sliding for the locomotion because I'm not really into teleporting. I prefer sliding. But if you have motion sickness, perhaps teleport might be a little bit better for you but it really is a preference okay to calibrate your ammo, ammo pouch is this one here just hold both both the grab because if you only hold one it won't work so hold both grab and then just bring your controllers down 
and there you go put it wherever you want up or down up or down it's fine and then just grab this again and then you can go and play all right so now it's going to load the home awesome cool all right i'm just going to stop here and then record once more all right so you're inside of a room i mean the graphics are actually pretty good they've done a really good job in terms of the graphic quality i wouldn't say they went as far as half-life alex of course uh valve have done an amazing job in half-life alex for sure but it is definitely a step up from the previous game which is Arino's Arizona Sunshine sorry so yeah really excited to try after the four once more so we're inside of a hangar and you see here in front of me you'll see some kind of exclamation point so that tells you as to where you're supposed to head next in order to progress in the game So this basically is like some kind of control panel where you can uh, basically decide where to go, like where to play. So you can choose the various different maps here. So at we'll least for harvest, and then you can choose the difficulty of the actual uh, gameplay. So we're going to choose survivor for the moment because believe me, it's actually pretty hard in survivor already. There we go. Confirm. So this is my name here. Let's use W1, not VR Essentials. And then we can start now. Or what we can do is we can just put it down first and then go and see what is it that um, that we have to do. So now if you use the if you press and hold on the thumb on the sorry, the left thumb uh, thumbstick, you can run also. So if you let go, if you just this this controller here, the right controller is to look left and right basically. You can't move at all, you're standing still. The other controller, the left one, is where you get to move. Now it's possible there will be some mods for the actual controllers, so do go and check out the binding uh, options inside of your Steam options to see whether there's any other mod. So on the left controller, this one here, on the thumbstick, if you press and hold, now you can run, so you'll, ru you'll walk much faster. If you don't press and hold, you're just walking. Alright, so it's telling me to go here. So just look away if you don't want any spoilers. I need some eyes on the harvest side, down in Skid Row. Nothing too unusual, just... Clear the streets. Double check the stock in the safe rooms and report back in. Don't forget you can invite others to join you before heading out. So you can also bring your, your menu up. So let me just... Uh, basically one button on the right one is to bring your Steam stuff, right? But on the other one, on the other side of the HP Reverb G2 controllers, is to bring the panel of the actual gameplay itself. So you have party, which is basically where you can make a leader, leave a party, you can add a friend. And then this one, I'm not quite sure what this is for. Let me just try. Maybe it's to tell people that you're available for something. I'm not quite sure. Then you have social. So social, of course, is where you would you can go to the lobby. At the moment, because I think we're in closed, a closed session, I don't see any of this information. <laughs> so for example, in my friends, if I go to party and I go to friends, I can't add a friend in here at the moment. It's not possible. So this is deactivated for the moment. So you can also block people, which I think is great, because if there's gonna be kids inside of VR, and let's be honest, there are kids in VR, sadly, Population 1 is, oh my god, so many kids over there, I I rarely play now. And invites, so I guess this would be where you invite people, or people have invited you. And you can also search for specific player ID, which I think is very, very useful, of course. So Skiva, hope to see you in here. 
And of course, anyone who is on the VR Essentials channel, if you buy this, please comment below your ID so that I can find you and then together we can all play. I think that would be really awesome. You can go to your settings as well so you can change uh, seated mode, left-handed mode, so you can change left or right mode here. You can also change the movement, sliding, whether it's instant, offhand, and all these kind of different things. So the gameplay also, so the inventory on the holster, grip toggle, hand item swap, weapon weight, advanced reloading tips, uh, and also reload type. You can change from quick to advanced. So we're going to leave to advanced so it's not too easy. You can go to accessibility as well, sliding comfort mode, uh, movement comfort mode. So we're going to remove comfort mode for me because I'm fine with it. I don't need it. I don't need any vignetting. So you can adjust the vignetting. So if you're someone who is quite queasy in VR, you can change how your how you how much of the vignetting you will have around you when you're in the game. Interface. So a whole bunch of different different things that you can change here also in the interface. Audio, of course. Video. So anti-aliasing. Uh, you can change it, you can bump it up from here. So I'm gonna put it on four times four and then we'll do a proper comparison video with graphics and everything, um, you know, in future videos. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe for that video as well. Texture quality, you can have quarter. You can already see the differences at the top. And then full resolution. Uh, I'm going to leave it today on half res just because I'm recording at the same time. And I will do, as I mentioned, a proper uh, graphics comparison video in the future. Zombies, rag roll, I'm not quite sure what this is so I have to test it out. Shadows, soft shadows and light shadow resolution. So you can actually bring this down probably to 1024. I think it's probably fine which is what we'll do for today. And network which is, I'm in Asia but you can change the actual network so you can find more people depending on what network when you do of course your gameplay. You can mute the microphone here And then this is to change the grab and the hold. And then, uh, so if I go back to settings and just go to audio very quickly. Okay, it doesn't say which, uh, which, which microphone, which mi microphone to change. So it'd be great if there was an option somewhere to test the microphone or, you know, something like that. Alright, so we're going to exit the menu now, so I just click on, again, the, the small little button on the left hand side and then it just exits automatically. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other exclamation point, which is telling me to go here. And then we're going to go to start, so you can search party, looking for players, or we can just start now. All right, and then we're loading to the next screen. So remember guys, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb D2 sponsored by HP. So do enable the bell after you subscribe as it will do the announcement of how to enter the competition upon hitting 9,000 subscribers. Welcome to your first harvest run. The goal is simple. Go through the route, kill as many snow breed as you can, collect their harvest, and come out the other end in one piece. This here is a safe room. You can use it to either heal up or stock up. Use those modified machines to get the good stuff. Good luck out there. All right, so basically where we're in right now, uh, just to let you know that before you go into all this kind of stuff, you will be put through a training regiment, like a tutorial, um, where they will explain to you how to actually, you know, play the game, uh, shoot, all those kind of different things, all right? So, but I'm just going to show you very quickly some tips because it took me a while to figure it out and it wasn't easy. Now, you can use a grab button. If you press and hold the grab button on the gun where the gun is, the left side, and then you press the grab button on the right side, this is what happens, like so. You have to press and hold whichever gun you're holding the grab button. If you don't, this is what happens. Okay, so if you don't press and hold the right hand, for example, 
then the other hand is going to go underneath and then you have both hands so you're actually able to aim okay so if I press and hold the right hand now and I press the grab button again with my left hand this is what happens all right if I leave press and hold on the left hand and I press the grab button on the right hand then it goes there okay if I press and hold on the right hand and press again with the grab on my left hand then it will go here okay and then again if I let go of the grab button on the left hand and I use the grab button on the right hand boom it will go underneath and then I can do this alright guys sorry for repeating so often but so many times but I just want to let you know because this was quite hard for me to know and it's not in the tutorials or well, maybe I missed it I'm not quite sure so I'm just gonna put the gun on this side now so here okay there we go now if you want to reload the actual gun all you have to do is press the let me just see which button it is press the the a button and boom it will go on the floor okay very simple and then with the grab button you can grab it again or it will go automatically in your belt when you're inside of this room here and then you just go to your belt with your grab button grab it like this and then you put it inside so it's quite hard you have to basically move your hand or tilt your hand I'll do a separate recording and do a superimposing for you later but you have to tilt your hand in a way where basically you have to open the gun because if you leave it like this and you bring it here it's going to be quite hard to, to actually reload it so it's better I would advise that you have your gun a little bit tilted like so bring it in and then do that and then you're done so all you have to do is basically grab and hold if you don't grab and hold it will just fall on the floor like so okay so you grab you hold tilt the gun bring it here and boom slot it in and then the other thing you have to do is you have to use the grab button again bring your hand on top of the weapon click on the grab and hold it and then bring the gun you have to holster the gun towards you so that one bullet you don't need to do it for every single bullet of course you just do it for one bullet and then you're done basically but there are issues when you're going to be holding two weapons it's almost impossible when you're using two weapons in order to to change to reload it's so hard it's virtually impossible I still haven't been able to do it I think it's one of the kinks inside of the game but anyway we'll go through that in just a while so now let's talk a little bit more in terms of who's in the room and stuff so these guys Michael, Jen and Jimmy are actually part of the game so these are probably staff so it is very possible that they are AIs and not actually uh, real people this is what it would be like when you're in a party with other people so what we need to do is go here first and then what you can do is if you have credits which will be up here you'll win the credits as you're playing with the game you can actually unlock certain things alright now if you can see here this is my energy bar that's here so that's full you'll see that as it depletes it will change color and these things will go down so I highly suggest that <laughs> you get some juicer boosters uh, <laughs> I highly suggest that but anyway at the moment we don't really need to get anything although we could purchase one and then it's here so what you need to do is put the gun back here take it grab and hold with your grab and then you can bring it here towards your wrist as you can see and let go of the grab button and boom it will be here for later so what we can also do of course is if we um, go here and we enable our mic they should be able to hear us let's do a test very quickly hi guys can you hear me hi Jimmy can you hear me or maybe they're AIs if they're not real people it's possible there are AIs. So funny enough, the game hasn't recorded my progress as to where I lost. I'm starting really from the beginning here, it looks like. Time. So we're going to go through absolutely everything, but we're going to do a more... Uh, in-depth video with all the graphics and stuff in future videos so do make sure you farm, 
So do make sure that you're unable to bail after you subscribe. Now, to shoot, you need to use the, the actual trigger itself. It will open, and then the ammo will come naturally uh, towards you. So they're actually going to be following me, but I'm the leader of the pack, so maybe they are AIs. I think it's possible. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. So you have to shoot the head. So sometimes it doesn't go naturally. So it can be very tricky to reload. If you're in advanced mode, very tricky. There's definitely little kinks in terms of reloading the gun. You really have to get used to it in a very, very big way. So let's just look at some of the graphics. Oh, okay, no time for now. And I will try my best not to move my head as much as possible. I mean the graphics are pretty good as you can tell. I will do a separate video on the graphics as you know, but just to give you a little preview, you know you can see the blizzard, you can see the, the snow coming down. I mean you really feel like you're in quite a cold environment. It's definitely better than Population 1 in terms of the graphics, and definitely better than Arizona Sunshine for sure. So definitely some good evolution here in terms of what they've been able to pull off. And then let's look at some of the monsters. Now you can't interact with them. Your hand will go through it. Which is a shame because in uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners of course you can pick up the, the zombies and you can manipulate them around which is pretty cool. But you can't do that inside of uh, after the fall. So you can hear them screaming. I mean, look at this snow. It's really nice as to how you can see the, the wind carrying the snow over. It's pretty cool. It's very atmospheric and very immersive, I have to, I have to say. And the, the, of course, the HP Reverb G2 is doing an amazing job, right? All right, so now let's go and head inside of the building. Guys, if you don't want to get any spoilers, of course, don't watch until the end of the video. So I'm about to give a spoiler here, so guys, please look away and I'll tell you when to, uh, when to look again. So look away, guys. Okay, you can, uh, you can look again. Spoiler is gone. It's really hard to get the head sometimes. It's very hard to play without having to... Oh no! Oh, he's gonna kill me, I think. Okay, these things are very, very... 
Oh. All right, so we're inside of something. I've never been inside of this. Oh no, not this guy. No, 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 no. Oh man. Where is he? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, okay. So make sure that after you you kill the zombies, you get all the monies. So I really like how the torch, you know, goes around the building. It's really nicely done. You can see the fog and everything. Of course, I'm using PC VR, guys. So do leave a comment below when you try out a standalone version on your MetaQuest, for example. Or, you know, even on the PSVR, I'd like to know what it's going to be like on there. So guys, uh, we're going to do another bit of a spoiler here, so I'll let you know when to look away. Cool. So you can see my booster, I have two now, and my my life is really, really down, so just use it. I use a trigger on myself. Healing. Boom. Done. Confer it away. It only works once anyway. So look at this. I mean, it's really awesome how the light, they've done a really good job on the graphics, I have to say. I'm pretty amazed. And when you adjust the graphics to times 4 super sampling and you bring down the texture quality to 1024 resolution you won't have as many um, jagged edges as you would if you left it at two, 2000 plus and you had it times 2 super sampling alright guys so another spoiler so look away right now guys All right, the spoiler is over. You can look again. All right, so let's continue. If we start a containment here once we figured out we could repurpose old arcade cabinets for supplies. I've never been much of a gamer. I'm a gas pumping gearhead. Oh shit. So after you've done the kill, make sure that you go towards these, these things so you get paid the money, basically. And sometimes these guys are not dead, they're lying there. But if you haven't actually shot them in the head, they'll still be alive. So do be cautious because they can creep around behind you after a while. I mean, the atmosphere in here is really cool, it's very well done. I love the colors, how you have the difference between the hot over there, the warmer colors, and the very cold white colors here. You can tell that they spent a long time on developing this game. I mean, I almost can't see anything. It's really nice how the fog comes in. Oh no, he's got me. Come on, blow, 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 blow. Oh. Too slow. So now they have to kill him. Because if they don't kill him, then of course we're going to restart from the beginning.
So there's nothing you can do when you're dead. You're basically there and you're a spectator as to what's happening. But this guy's really hard to beat. And we're playing in survivor mode, guys, by the way. We're not even playing in extreme or anything like that. So I just want to show you when you die, where you start from, because we've been quite a while in the game now, good 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you as to where you're starting after you, you fail. And I'm pretty sure that we will start from the beginning once more. So we're back in the safe room. As you can see, my juicer boosters have gone again, so I'm not going to buy another one. And then let's see where we start from. So as you can see, we start completely from the beginning, even though you're not, you know, you've advanced maybe 10 or 15 or 20 minutes inside of the actual uh, gameplay. So do bear that in mind, you know, if it's something that disturbs you, then you just have to deal with it. But at the same time, it means that you will take longer to complete the maps. Otherwise, you would complete them very fast. So it gives it a bit more, a bit more challenge. So what I enjoyed about today's After the Fall is the fact that you can do co-op with other people and together build teams, socialize and make friends in virtual reality because that is really what it's all about. But also let's not forget, even though the graphics are not, let's say, like life itself or hyper realistic, the fact is when you put on a VR headset, especially for those who have never done VR before, you really will feel like you're completely immersed in this alternative virtual reality. So, you know, don't let the graphics frame you even though things look like 3D or whatever. No, you're going to feel, as I mentioned, really much in there. So this kind of games are going to give you certain skill sets that you'll pick up along the way just in case one day zombies do come alive. So guys, do make sure that you enable the bell after you subscribe as we'll be doing plenty of how-to through the lens and graphic comparisons as well. And you could be one of the lucky winners getting a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes sponsored by cyber shoes a 50 dollars voucher to the meta quest or viveport or steam store it'll be completely up to you and much much more so guys thank you very much for spending some time together in watching this video please leave a comment below let us know your thoughts as to what you think are you excited about this game but all in all other than the reloading of the actual you know guns as i mentioned in, in during the gameplay that's a little bit finicky and a bit hard to grasp it is actually a pretty enjoyable title so guys i'll see you very shortly in the comments below and also in a new video very soon. See you guys.